Hi everybody, it's Mystery MTG Damien. Thank you for popping in. We're going to be doing another Tinkerer's Draft today. This is uh, the second Tinkerer's Draft we have done. Last one, I think we went 6-3, and three, so hopefully we can do better this time. What do we have here? Ooh, from the new set, Nashi. Combat Amateur Player Exile. Yeah, it's not amazing. I guess it's okay. Hmm. It's kind of powerful, but if for cube, I don't know. Undead Butler, Pair of Goblins, Horde Robber. Nothing really great, right? I think I am going to take uh, Nashi here. Revel in Riches. I mean, there is a lot of ways to make treasure. You know what? I'm going to take Revel in Riches. We're going we're gonna to Revel in Riches people out of this game. Key to the City sucks. Ominous Sphinx. Wow, a bunch of lands here. Sorry. Give me one sec. <laughs> Your jug's opening a, a package of paper here to refill the printer. Mm. What? Oh, wow, that's awesome. Uh, okay, so... Wow, this is bad. I mean, a bunch of blue cards. Proliferating, cycle card, barren. Jeez, what do I take here? I guess this guy does make tre... Oh, food or treasure. I thought it was just food. Yeah, let's take Tireless Provisioner then. We're going to try and... Uh, yeah, green-black is a good color combination to make a lot of uh, food and treasure and different tokens. Uh, investigate. That doesn't help us. We want treasure specifically. This guy does make treasure. Incubation Druid's powerful. It's two mana ramp. Plus it gets... Uh, turns into, you know, pseudo-black lotus later. This guy's not great. Uh, he uses treasure, but... Oh no! Pay one life, make a treasure? Oh, yeah, never mind. Another treasure card. Jeez, that is that is rough. I definitely should have maybe taken that two-mana ramp guy. He's way more powerful. Wow, and a Gilded Goose. Beautiful. Green looking open here. Gilded Goose is awesome. Sphere of Annihilation. Uh, and then, okay, so then it's just, yeah. It's like a delayed... What does it get? Creatures, Planeswalkers. Oh, it's just Creatures and Planeswalkers. Okay. Colvori, as long as you control three or more legendary. Yeah, legendary cards, don't care. Yeah, definitely taking Goose here. And uh, everything we have so far makes treasure, I guess, except Goose. But Temple of Milady? <laughs> Malady, I know. I know it's, I know how to say it. It's just too funny not to. Uh, put that many... Okay. Woodland Champion, I don't know if I want that. Uh, Fell Stinger? Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the Temple here. Don't really want any of these other cards. Even Eternal's good. Toralf. Yeah. Not amazing. We're gonna revel, baby. Revel in Riches. Druidic Vow. Legendary Permanence. Yeah, don't care. Spinning Wheel Kick. Not amazing. Could take Pointed Discussion. Makes a Blood. But I think I'm just gonna take Tomb. On color here. I mean, we could even be green, not black. We could be green white, green blue, green something else. And easily splash black here for uh, Revel. I want to make a lot of treasure, so maybe... I mean, this guy makes treasure, but green? I don't know how much treasure green can make. Black has a bunch of ways to make treasure in this in this cube. If you see our last draft, we... Uh, um, yeah, we went off with, uh, like, token making and marionette master and stuff was uh, really good. Let's see. Let's see if we can find the, the road to victory here. Uh, Gilded Goose, Ties Provisioner, yeah. It's not a bad start, but, like, Forsworn Paladin sucks. I, that was a really, ee, keep, or, uh, pick. I should have almost certainly taken the two drop, the green two drop. Uh, Branch Loft Pathway, this is when you mill, make an insect. Yeah, a bunch of, well, Learn is actually pretty good. Uh, this is Green White Duel. I'm going to take this. Proliferate sadly doesn't pump out more tokens. Uh, this is an aggressive red card. I'm going to take Pop Quiz. I think I uh, last draft, we, we ended up with a bunch of lessons and no learn. And I ended up playing like um, Mascot Exhibition in the main deck. I mean, it's just, it's such a good card. You just should play it in the main deck if you have it. Uh, and you're, you're a ramp deck or whatever. But uh, now, you know, I ended up getting no le uh, learn cards. I had these lessons that were great and no learn. So I'm going to try and... That, that's actually not bad. I, I could easily be green-blue, like I said, and splash black here. 
Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, make a treasure. So, removal's good. I mean, obviously, black um, is a good color for, you know, picking up a bunch of removal. But, uh, yeah. Tyrus Provisioner. This guy, I you know, fetch lands would be really good, too. Look at that food art. Jeez. Scorp Duckin. Uh... Hmm. This is not amazing. Could take sciences. We already have a pop quiz. This is powerful too, but I don't know if we're going to be in blue. I'll take sciences. The lesson learned stuff is awesome. Uh, it just lets you play all these other spells. It's like your deck has 27 spells in it, and only 23 of them are in the main deck. And you can put, you know, these other spells in your sideboard and just pull them into your deck at will. Eliwick Tumblestrum, Venture into the Dungeon. Actually, there is, yeah, Venturing into the Dungeon. Dungeon of the Mad Mage makes a treasure. Uh, he sucks, though, right? Probably take Horde Robber here. Every time it deals damage, make a treasure. Got Green Blue Duel. Another lesson. I'm going to take Green Blue Duel. Little Sultai treasure action here. Yeah, Horde Robber does, you know, make treasure, but how often am I going to get in with a 1-3? Like, you know, yeah, on turn 2, sure, I, I might get in for 1 or 2. Um, bunch of white Garbo. Wow, 3 green cards. Uh, okay. I guess I'm going to take, I'll take Tech Wrecker. Might be useful. This is okay, maybe not bad if we're making a bunch of tokens. So far we have a lot of things that make tokens. Um, not bad. This is a weird start. I don't know where we're going to end up here. Yeah, green looking wide open. This is not amazing, but we do have a death touch uh, creature now. Uh, spinny wheel kick with a death, death touch creature is gas. Uh, this is two mana ramp. Finn the fang bearer. If I have a bunch of death touch, I can do infect. Ominous seas. We're not really doing the cycling thing. Hmm. Wow, this pack is not great for us. <sighs> Ominous Seas, huh? A Death Touch counter. I mean, that's not bad with Wheel Kick. Should I take, like, a Black Cycler or... I don't know, a green cycler. I should just take the two mana ramp guy, I think. He makes any color, so he ramps, he fixes, she. Um, yeah, no idea where we're going to end up here. I mean, I want to be green here. I think that's clear. Green is wide open, and uh, we've kind of got a plan going with t treasure and tokens and stuff. I'd love a marionette master. That would be another insane win condition. Um, got some ramp. Gilded Goose and Taxidermist. This guy I might not play, but I could see this guy growing pretty quick in this deck. I wouldn't mind... Um... Oh, let's see. This makes a Blood and a Blood Artist. Baron Moor, Fountain. Jeez, I'd probably just take Forsaken Crossroads. Honden. This is okay, but we're not sacking a lot of stuff. We literally have no sack outlets right now. This only... Yeah, dra it does one damage when they um, when we sack up blood. Not any other kind of artifact, which, again, doesn't really do it for us. This is just color fixing, so I think I'm going to take this. Our mana is looking really good, actually. We can play... We can branch into blue more heavily if we want to. Um, yeah... Gonna be interesting. See if we can see if we can win with this. At the beginning of my upkeep, have to have uh, ten treasure. Finn, or Sir Farron, I mean. No, Jewel-eyed Cobra. Oh, when it dies, make a treasure. I wonder if I'll wield that. I might wield that. Harvester. Is okay. Samut. 
Not amazing. Dreadhound. This is okay. Double black, though. Hmm. Do I want to take a big 6-5-5 uh, five, five or Grim Dancer? I think I'm going to take Grim Dancer here. Jewel-Eyed Cobra is an interesting one. Grim Dancer more powerful, but the Cobra makes treasure? I think I'm going to wield that Cobra, so let's take Grim Dancer here. Old Gnawbone. Wow. Make that many treasure? Okay, well, that's exactly what our, our deck needs. Holy cow. Yeah, and there's not much else in here. Sorry, my wife's printing her schedule here. You can hear the printer in the background. Um, Gnawbone is sick, so we slam this. Yeah, we can just make a ton of treasure if we can get in there uh, with something. And then if we, you know, slam Revelin Riches the turn after, might be able to just win the game. Yikes. Not a lot here. Edgar's Awakening is not amazing. Uh, cycle or discard. We're not really doing much of that. Jeez, and just all white red cards in here. I guess I'll take the Awakening, but I don't think I'm going to play that. We're not making a ton of blood. Like, when you get to discard this off blood and raise dead for free, basically, then it's better, but... Hmm. Old Knob Bone, though, is expensive and dies to everything, right? So, we almost have to set up a turn where we've got something else in play that's big. Ooh, Blossom Prancer. Enchantment or Creature in my hand. Uh... This just ramps me every turn. Uh, I don't know. I could start picking up random shrines. I saw the blue shrine, and now here's the black and the green one. Um, but this fetches my Revelin Riches and uh, a bunch of the creatures. I think the Blossom Prancer is going to be better. Bloodfast. Pay to draw, and then if you have five or le less, you flip it and gain life. It turns into Diamond Valley. Um, it's not amazing. Creatures you control a Menace, a Mass 2. Uh, I think I'm going to take this. Ugh, it's not great, though. Warlock class, white, black. Ooh, Wave Sifter's good. Yeah, I'm going to take Wave Sifter. Let's see if we can uh, play these blue cards. Okay, there's Finn. Don't have enough Death Touch to make Finn good, although we do have a bunch. We have Grim Dancer, we have Cavatech Wrecker. I thought we had. No, this guy's Menace. Yeah, never mind. Alright, Fatty Boom Booms, get in there. I guess. Yeah, that's a big Death Toucher. Blood Fountain, Perilous Mirror. Uh. I guess I'll play the Blood Fountain. I don't love it. This is only pack two as well. We could easily uh, cut a lot of these cards. I think Sciences probably goes to the board. We'll see. Uh, Pop Quiz might not play. This guy's probably not going to see play either. Yeah, I'm probably not going to play blue at this point. I might splash for Wave Sifter and that's it. Not going to splash for Pop Quiz, I think. Captain Sisse. Okay, get this out of here. I don't want to play against deal 10 damage. Bruinar, get out of here. Leafkin, huh? Okay. A shy is powerful. Mm, Chimera. Gains flying. If I control a creature with flying, oh, okay. Eh. Solemn's pretty good. Animus, Life of Toshiro? Uh, meh. I like Solemn. I like Ashaya. Hmm. Number of lands you control. is okay. She lets me ramp a huge, you know, basically makes all your creatures tap for green. Uh, but I'm not really ramping into anything crazy. I think I'm just going to go Solemn here. 
Uh, mending, no. I'm looking for stuff. No. Bake, maybe? I'm looking for stuff that uh, makes treasure, but I don't see anything. EDBs, make a, gain a life, cast an creature. Okay. Another Honden. Wouldn't mind wheeling that. Ooh, treasure map. This I actually want. I wonder if this wheels. You know what? Let's take treasure map here. Uh, watery grave, irresistible praise, no good. Aura or shrine. So it doesn't get my enchantments. It doesn't get my revel in riches. Precipitous drop. Right, that sucks. Um, Eye of Vecna. Better than uh, Argyle's Bloodfast, probably. I'm going to take the land here. Blood Fang. Blight Fang, I mean. Ooh, another creature you control dies, get a treasure, yeah. Ooh, make a pest, learn, also good. I think I'm going to take... Actually, this guy is going to wheel, probably. I'm going to take Hunt for Specimens, I think. Yeah, now we can definitely play that Environmental Sciences in the board. Kazmina. Uh, each other planes market control is loyalty abilities of her. Okay. Makes fractal creatures. And then search an instant versus sorcery out of your deck. Not amazing. Mm, not amazing. Voracious Typhon. Just take, a, just take a fatty here. Sure. Probably not playing Awakening. I'm going to have to take a bunch of stuff out of the deck. Wow, lots of... Uh... Okay. Hmm, not amazing. Thieves' Tools. Could take another lesson. I could take Fabled Passage. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to take Fabled Passage. There's a way to sack creatures. Vraska's powerful. No. Oh, no. This is... Yeah. Different card. This guy makes blood. If you gain life. Yeah, I don't think we have a ton of ways to gain life. So, I'm gonna go Dockside. Ooh, Old Rutstein. He's pretty good. Skull Prophet? Wow, all the green-black cards coming around. Meyer Triton... This guy makes treasure, though, so I'm definitely going to take old Rutstein here. There's the Miriarch. Twice the number of creatures you control. So if I even have one other creature in this guy, he's a 4-4. Four, four. If I have two other creatures, he's a 6-6. Six, six. And then he gets a bunch of stuff. Mm, I think I'm going to take the Fight Spell. I will take this. For the board. Uh, yeah. And I guess I'll take Eye of Vecna. I don't think I want to play this, but I'm definitely not playing Argyle's Blood Fast. I'm not going to play this guy. Uh, I might not play this. Probably not playing Pop Quiz. Oh, I didn't pick up that black... Oh, did I not take... Yeah, no, I did. Hunt for specimens, right? Masked Vandal's not bad. This comes in and learns, but we only have... Environmental Sciences to learn here. So, not impressive. Oh, nice. Uh, could take Kazmina as well. Nah. Death Pronit's... Route. Okay. Interesting. Let's see where we ended up here. So we, we were trying to build a deck around Revel of Riches. I don't know if we got there, but let's cut the basics for now. We've got good mana. Um, this guy's kind of like cycle three. So these are mediocre things. The Ancient Animus, um, Eye of Vecna, Spinning Wheel Kick. Just get the removal out of here. Blood Fountain. So this is... How many lands we, do we have in here? Seven. Oh my god. Seven lands. Okay, so... 
We need to cut one card. Hmm. Making a lot of treasure, which I like. Maybe it's like Masked Vandal or something. Because uh, I have Capitec Record does kind of the same thing. This guy makes treasure. Treasure map makes treasure. This guy should be good, I think, in our deck. Let's see cutting the Vandal. Jeez, this is a weird deck. I have Vecna. I think I am going to keep I have Vecna in there. I don't know. Blood Fountain is another weird one. I don't know. What else could I play? Chain Web. Yeah, no, that's it. We have one lesson, that's it. And one learn card. So we have uh, lots of green and black. So let's start with green here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six green sources already. So let's add uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll add the black. And I am going to put in, I think, one island. Okay. So black, we would have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten green, ten black, and then like a bunch of blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gildy Goose is eight. So our mana's great. I really want to win with Revel and Riches. We have Old Gnawbone making treasure. We have Blossom Prancer finds the Revel. Uh, we've got Provisioner makes treasure. Rutstein makes treasure. Treasure Map makes treasure. Uh, Horde Robber makes treasure. Forsworn Paladin makes treasure. So six good treasure making things in the main deck. They make a bunch of treasure each, remember. I mean, Revel itself makes treasure, right? So... Uh, let's try this. Okay. Treasure's the name of the game now in Magic. God, I'm looking at the new spoilers for the new set. Everything makes treasure. Like, tons of treasure making in the new set. It's weird. Anyway. It's not enough that you make mana off that treasure. I want to win with how rich I am, okay? I'm going to be Elon Musk. I'm gonna buy, out, buy out Twitter and that's going to be it. Dark Prince of Sorrow. I will play. No green here, and a 7-drop in our opener makes me pretty sad. Uh, can I keep this? Maybe I should mulligan this. This hand's not really doing anything, is it? Okay, this is better. Put old Gnawbone on the bottom. Start with the scry. Grim Dancer. Can't cast that, so let's put that on the bottom. I'm gonna get our Woodland Champ down here, I think. Okay, Warlock class. Interesting. Next turn we can Forsworn. doing over here uh okay well let's swing so they leveled up their warlock class right and let's play forsworn could have played tap land there i was gonna say i want to leave up animus but our opponent's obviously not playing anything uh creature wise what is that never mind um, okay. So do I attack with everything? I kind of want to leave the Forsworn back to make a treasure, actually. Okay. Destroy a creature. Okay. I think I'm fine with that. Pass. I could have played Dockside Chef first and Overgrown Tomb uh, to stop that, but I think he probably would have responded to my Dockside Chef by killing my guy at that point. Uh, sure. 
It's to learn. Pretty low power deck, uh, it looks like here so far. Oh my god. Okay. You get some removal spell? Sure. Animus is fight, sadly, not uh, punch. Okay. Yikes. We are not doing it, folks. This is not doing it. I'm going to keep making treasure, hoping to draw something? I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make another treasure. So I'm just going to lose to uh, Siege Gang, I guess. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's pass. You really have to do this now, huh? What is this? You're printing photos and stuff? Okay, let's block. Uh, pretty sure we're just dead here, right? I think I have to block with the paladin, paladin as well. Uh, damage. This guy... If you would learn, return it to the battlefield. Okay. Mm, let's activate. Sack of blood. Ugh. More land. Um, I think I'm going to sack him to himself. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, so much for that. Oops. Annoying. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we were never meant to win this anyway. Sure. Yeah, I don't have any wrath, so this my whole opponent's whole go wide plan is uh, is going to do the trick here. Uh, let's just scoop. Oh, wait, he's legendary. Actually, okay, so I can kill Siege Gang here. And I get a blood. Great. Um, so he's going to get a plus one, plus one counter, punch. And then we can pass. I'm at six. <laughs> uh, I think I'm dead. Warlock class can actually kill me, right? Oh, he can just necrotic fumes, yeah. Shouldn't have showed him. The Animus. Alright, uh, so again, I, I don't know if there's anything that we can do. Let's bring in another blocker here. We can take out Eye of Vecna. Um, yeah, that's it. Not great. We have zero removal in our deck. We have a fight spell. And uh, two, two fight spells, like one fight spell, one punch spell. That's it. I just want to try and ramp into Revel as quickly as I can. Yep, this is good. Rutstein hopefully starts uh, finding us, or uh, milling land and making treasure. Opponent scries. Luckily, they are Mardu, which means they can't beat the Revel in Riches. If uh, I don't like, I, I don't even know if they have a way to get it off the board. Really? Then I draw one drop. God damn it. Okay. Sure. Ooh. Uh, let's get old Rutstein going here. Land. There we go. Uh, could slam Goose or Paladin. 
Uh, let's go goose here. No attacks. This guy can pump. Pump all the goblins. So my opponent built like a goblin deck here or something? Oh, is this ooze? Oh, cool. The ooze sleeves. Um, yeah, goblins. Apparently a thing in uh, Tinkerer's Cube. Red was wide open at our draft, actually. Mm-hmm. Really? It's got Death Touch, huh? Uh... No blocks. Land, treasure. Okay. I think I'm just going to slam Solemn here. Get another black. Mm. Yeah, let's pass. Offer the trade with Solemn here. He's maybe priced into killing it? I don't know. We'll see. Could have cast Forsworn Paladin as well. I don't know. It's just, it, I think it's going to take way too long to get up to 10 treasures here. The whole revel in riches thing might be a, a giant trap. We needed some other payoffs, like uh, Mana Flood last game. Yeah, George. We needed some payoffs like the um, uh, Marionette Master, that kind of thing. And then you've got all these treasure and things lying around. You just poof, like just kill them out of nowhere. But yeah, I think we're a little light on win cons, sadly. Playing against an aggressive deck... Uh, looks like they've been missing their land drops. Or they might miss this turn. Yeah, because I ramped one turn. I was on the play. Sure. Three plus the number of artifacts. Pretty lucky. Had exactly one artifact in play. Oh, made their land, land drop. Okay. Debating whether or not they want to swing that goblin into my Solemn. They're going to get their two life here. Yeah, drain me for two. But then I get to block and trade. Draw a card. Yes. Okay. Yeesh. Five, six, seven. I'm actually getting close to casting uh, Void Beckoner here. Okay, I'm going to leave this pest back. Hmm. What's environmental sciences? This gains us two. Uh, I think... I'll get another black here. Play the paladin. And... Pass to my opponent. Let's see what they do. I do have this food. I'm going to start eating food and making more food here. Keep my life total up. Paladin's going to start making treasure as well, so hopefully, I don't know, let's see what my opponent has. They've got some good cards, like Siege Gang Commander is, uh, is the best card I've seen so far out of their deck. That card's annoying. Wow. Well, that's ridiculous. Yep. Just gets to kill any of my creatures, basically. Discarding two cards, drawing two cards, gets a 1-1. One, one. Cool. Make a food. Oh my god. Okay, so I could slam Void Beckoner now that they discarded their... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. They discarded their removal. 8-8 eight, eight Death Touch. What do you think about that? They get to kill my Paladin. No, they do not. Okay. Yeah, they, they got rid of their unlicensed disintegration and drew two random cards off the top. Pulled another card. One of them was a land. So the odds they pulled exactly another unconditional removal spell. I mean, because some of these removal spells, like Welding Sparks, is not going to kill an 8-8, eight, eight, right? 
And they need to find something like Unlicensed Disintegration. I don't know how many of those they have in their deck. How many of these effects, I mean. Uh, they better have another one. Yep. Swinging, I presume? Just the 1-1. One, one. Cool. Oh, because it has Death Touch? Oh, right. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, it's annoying. Okay. Hmm. Blossom Prancer's good. Let's start with that. Blossom Prancer has Reach, too. is pretty sweet. It keeps that... Oh, there's the Revel. Uh... Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll keep that too. And pass. Okay, so now they can do the same thing again. Kill my Blossom Prancer if they want. But if they're sacking a bunch of creatures, Re uh, Revel is going to build treasure very quickly here. Yeah, getting the death touch, sure. Killing Blossom Prancer, sure. Okay. Nice little combo my opponent has going on here. Uh huh. Do it again with Seasoned Pyromancer. And then I guess they'll be able to bring back the Pyromancer and do it again with uh, his tokens. Because he exiles from the graveyard to make two tokens. So they can shoot a bunch of my creatures, but I don't really care. Uh, as soon as Rebel comes into play... Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Treasure. They discard... What? Did they get the Disintegration back somehow? Kind of confused, but okay. Revel. Let's play Taplan. Not gonna use this treasure, let's just pass. Uh, can make more food with the Goose if I want. They're doing a lot of damage to me here. Mm hmm. But I think that's fine. Take two. Oh, no. Mega food. Okay. <clears throat> Watery grave. Typhon. I'm going to keep the grave in my hand, I think. Pass to my opponent. Now, whenever one of their creatures dies, I get a treasure. So he's going to do the little attack, get death touch, shoot my Typhon thing. We've got nine life on tap with all this food in play. I think I'm going to sack two of the food and then make another food with Goose. Wow, pretty lucky. Opponent has uh, a not only a removal, but an exile spell <laughs> to get my escape creature. Sure. Yep. You got it. Uh, no blocks. Mm -hmm. Opponent down to one card in their hand. Sack food. Sack food. Okay. Ooh, horde robber's good. Okay. Now I can double block that 2-2 two -two and start making treasure with my uh, horde robber. Opponent can do a damage or kill an artifact. Sure. 
Do I even care? Huh. I can keep taking this, right? I'm actually not going to block. Yeah, and if I double block, he has death touch, he gets to eat both my guys. Like, I'd rather just try to swing with, uh, with, uh, Horde Robber. Uses another removal spell. They got a ton of learn in their deck. Holy crap. Okay. Do they still have more lessons? Oh, that one, right? Gross. Oh, you lucky schmuck. So opponent top decks the, the Siege Gang Commander. Okay, well, I guess we lose. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Need that spinning wheel kick. Uh, it's not even enough. What am I saying? Spinning wheel kick. Yeah, they were able to just have exactly the right answers for all my things. Like the one exile removal spell, of course... They draw it after I have the Typhon in play. So I think we're dead here. Can't get through anymore, so... Yikes, our deck looks pretty bad, but this game especially performed terribly because my opponent's all-removal deck uh, was able to keep all my, my dudes from stemming the tide. Mm-hmm. Blocks. Can sack a goblin to do a damage or whatever. Don't really care. Yep. So I'm going to start making treasure here with Revel. Mm -hmm. I'm still pretty far off of 10 treasure though. Trying to decide if they can uh, kill me, maybe. Looking at my treasures. Yes, we're going to try and get to 10. I don't think we can. Are they going to use a start from scratch on their on my treasure? They might. Animus. Okay, let's bring this guy back. Uh, let's exile land, land, sciences. Uh... Solemn. This leaves us with five cards still in the yard. Okay. Uh, okay, it's past my opponent. Hmm. Should I attack with Horde Robber? He blocks with Siege Gang, I fight. Uh, fight, fight, we get two treasure. Yeah, let's just do this now. He can sack two creatures to kill my horde robber, uh, but I'm going to get three treasure out of this because uh, both of his... Well, he does sack two creatures. Otherwise, I'm going to kill Siege Gang, get a treasure, hit him with horde robber, get a treasure, or he blocks his guy dies. Either way, I get a treasure. So I'm going to have a bunch of treasure suddenly. And of course, they can... Um, Sack Siege Gang here or whatever, but they should sack Siege Gang and just do two to me, I think. They could do two to my Horde Robber and then block. Either way, I'm going to get... I just want all the treasure here, so... They can either kill Horde Robber by losing their board or let tre Horde Robber hit them. But yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. All to me, huh? Okay. I'm done. Six treasure. Not ten, though. So I think we lose. Hmm. Opponent has one random card. The two cards in their hand don't do anything, because the Necrotic Fumes, they have to sack a creature to, to use it. Start from scratch just was does one damage. Um, oh, why am I on their upkeep? Oh. Um, yeah. Drain me, and then kill my guy, I guess? No? Okay. Sure. Oh, and then bring a uh, guy back. Oh, okay, uh, that makes sense. Or that. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, GG's. Let's see if we can go two and one. Our deck is pretty bad, though. Uh, I don't know. Green was open in pack one, but I, I, I kind of played... I, I drafted the meme deck here, right? That was a weird one, yeah. I, I first picked Revel of Riches and thought, okay, we're going to do the treasure deck, and I kind of tried to force this treasure deck, so it came out pretty badly. I should have just stayed open and taken what was the best card in the pack. We have one island in the deck, and here it is. Screwing us. Um, yeah, I'm going to mull. Four. Oh, we have a seven drop in our hand. Jesus. Okay. Mulliganing again this match. Ooh, Fang of Shigeki. Cool. Okay, well, we've got Horde Robber on two. Ogrehead Helm. So this is a 2-2. Two -two. When it's equipped, uh, they can sack it. Discard your hand, draw three cards. Sure. Um, let's get Horde Robber in play. Three Toughness, pretty good here. And then next turn we can go Champion and maybe... Well, I don't think they're going to let us hit them, but... Sure. This thing just keeps growing and growing. No blocks. They can discard their hand. Okay... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go Forsworn and Woodland. No attacks. Uh, let's see here. Mm hmm. I've got one of those. Oh, no attack. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think I just have to play my own Typhon here. Both of us with two cards. Ogrehead Helm getting bigger and bigger here. Uh, hmm. Sure. Another 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Ooh, that was a good draw. Let's slam Wave Sifter. And now we have a flyer that can start smashing in there. That guy gets big. Uh, pass. What does this do again? Double, right. Okay. That guy's gonna get real big. I need something with death touch here. To, uh, deal with that guy. Activating the Forsworn Paladin does give death touch to a creature. Tails, sure. Put on the Ogrehead Helm. Go off, dude. Get 18 counters next turn. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, goes to end step. Opponents playing this very conservatively. Taxidermist. Um, 
Okay, let's start with a clue. Opponent has one card. Woo, treasure map. We're getting closer and closer to starting to pump out a lot of treasure. Uh, okay, let me think. I need three mana to... Activate the Paladin? None of these guys have reached, do they? I'm going to play Dockside. I have to use the treasure off the Paladin to give Death Touch. Yeah, this thing gets huge. Um... Uh... So, yeah, his ability... I don't want to hover over the card because my opponent will see me doing it and wonder why I'm looking at the card. But I can uh, I can activate Force Forn for three mana. If one of it is from a treasure, then he gives plus two, plus zero, and death touch to one of my creatures. That I can use to trade with his guy. Sure. Doesn't do anything now. Attacks? There it is. I think we're going to block with Horde Robber here. Mm. Block. What? Oh, that's a clue! Oh, no, no, no. That's not a treasure. I'm an idiot. Uh, I need to make a treasure with Forsworn here. Shit, I'm a moron. Uh, okay, let's just chump. I'm going to make a treasure end step with Forsworn. I could have used Dockside to draw a card there, but... Whoops, I'm a moron. I should... Actually, yeah, I would have had to make a, a treasure no matter what here. I was going to say, I shouldn't have cast Dockside, Dockside and leave the three mana up, but that doesn't work. Okay, activate. Let's get another black. Um, old Rutstein, eh? Okay. Actually, let's get the treasure map going. Okay. Uh, pass. Double. So this guy's at 34, 34. If he ever gets uh, something with trample, uh, something to give his guy trample, then I'm in trouble. But he's reading Forsworn now. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I totally telegraphed my play. S too many clues, and they all look the same. The worst is the treasures, because the treasure art is different. There's a million different treasure art. So depending on the card that makes it, you'll have Ixalan treasure or, you know, whatever. Treasure from all these different sets. It's really annoying. Uh, the clues also look different. So I, I forgot, yeah, had a clue and not a treasure there. Oops. You don't think... Oh, really? Okay, so... Well, there's there's a card in the deck called Revel, Revel in Riches that says if you, at the beginning of your turn... On your, on your upkeep, like before you even draw a card. If you have 10 treasure, you win. You win the game. Okay, you have an Ashaya. So that's what I'm trying to do, but God, it's almost impossible. Plus, I, you know, the treasure makers that I have are so mediocre. Like, this guy's way too slow. What am I going to pump 10 mana into this idiot to, you know, make him uh, make a bunch of treasure? Oh, my opponent doesn't attack. Wow. Okay. So I could make a treasure here with Forsworn Paladin, or I could scry with Treasure Map. I think I need to scry. Yep. Opponent's gearing up for one big turn here. Uh, do I want this? I don't think I want that. Okay. Don't want that either. Uh, oh, I should have scryed on my upkeep, maybe. Damn, I didn't think about that. Okay, let's play Old Rutstein. Creatures. So this guy gets bigger. I get a token. 
Okay. Uh, so I've got two mana to activate. Sorry, three mana to activate the Paladin. Two mana to activate Dockside Chef. So I think I'm going to pass here. Opponent's got a lot of big dudes. Look at this guy. 66-66 over here. Ogrehead Helm. Because of the, the Hydra's growth. Just keeps doubling the counters. So, yeah. Veilstar, what's up? My opponent feels real new to the game. Yeah, they're being very conservative with all these attackers. I don't know why. I can trade with one. If I make a treasure, or I uh, use my treasure here. Surely we're going to see a swing here, right? No attack. Okay, they keep building up their board. I guess. Okay, so let's activate. Scry, do not want. Let's activate the paladin, make a treasure. This guy gets bigger. He mills, I get another treasure, right? This is a treasure. Yeah, see the, the art being different and it puts it in a different pile? Ooh, provisioner's very good. This guy says, whenever a land enters the battlefield over my control, make a food token. When this... This just transforms. Doesn't leave the battlefield, but I do want to play this. Uh, Make three treasure. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to pass. I, I want to find Revel and Riches here, and... Uh, okay, this guy's 130, 130 now. <laughs> I want to revel in riches and um, and win this game without having to attack. My opponent doesn't know what we're up to here. So they're playing very conservative, letting me have a lot of time to dig through my deck. Oh, are they going to attack this time? No! Wow, they are being way too conservative. Okay. They must have some spell that gives all their guys, um, you know, trample or something, right? Some overrun effect. Um, that's not amazing. I just want to find Revel and Riches now. We've got six treasure. Uh, let's go seven treasure. Woodland Champion, big. Okay, Rutstein, Sax Eye makes a blood. Okay, this entering the battlefield makes another treasure. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to use the blood first. Let's get rid of the Taxidermist. I don't need this anymore. It's just a ramp card. God damn it. Okay, well, let's play this on black, I guess. Landfall. Uh, seven treasure. Let's go eight treasure. That guy gets big. Scry one. Do not want. Oh, no. Okay, well. Yikes. Let's pass. I think Dockside Chef's going to start drawing us some cards here. This guy's at 258. 258. That's a chonker right there. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, here it is. No! No attack! Oh my god. Why is my opponent waiting? Okay, let's activate Dockside. I don't want to sack my treasure, so I'm going to sack this insect. Draw a card. There's old Gnawbone! Uh, okay, well now I am going to sack some of this treasure, because we're going to get a lot of treasure back here. Let's draw another card. Spinning wheel kick. Man, if I had a death touch creature. Ooh, I could make a death touch creature here. Uh, let's sack one more treasure, I think. Yeah, so I can activate Forceborn Paladin, give something death touch, then spinning... Oh, there's the Revelant Riches! Oh, boy. Okay, so we have seven treasure here. Land makes us another treasure. Okay, that's eight. Ooh. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Eight treasure. I can go to nine treasure. Oh, man. Should I go for the win here? Or should I play it safe? I could, I could, uh, I could activate... Paladin? Give something Death Touch? That's risky, though. My opponent has six mana up and three cards in hand. Uh, spinning Wheel Kick, you know, all they have to do is kill the guy that I target with it. And, I mean, I could target Woodland Champion. Hmm. This is tricky. Eight? 
I have eight treasure, and I can go to nine on their end step. If I untap, and on my upkeep, Rutstein mills a land, then I can actually order these triggers so that Rutstein, uh... Okay, I'm gonna swing with this. Get three treasure. Okay. And then... I have 11 treasure, 3, 4, 5, I go down to 10, 3, 4, 5, no, I would go to 9 treasure, god damn it, I'm a little bit short, okay, I'm gonna revel, I'm still gonna do it, because if any of their creatures dies, then we get more treasure, <laughs> He's a 514, 514 creature. Jeez. I've never seen a creature get that big. And the game isn't just over. They scoop! <laughs> scoop to revel in riches. It doesn't matter how much power you've got, okay? I don't matter how many homies you got. Money. The money. Who's got the most treasure? So George was asking. This is the, the win con. Revel in riches. So whenever an opponent... Uh, creature an opponent controls dies, you get treasure. And then at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10, you just win the game. Period. So I tr I picked this first, and I thought I was like, okay, we're going to draft this treasure deck, we're going to try and do this. It did not come together well. We, we got some treasure-making stuff, but our opponent was just way too conservative that game. I don't know what they were doing. Uh, I mean, I could play this as a way to kill that... that Hydra enchantment, but do I even give a shit? No, let's just run it back. That was bizarre. I don't know. I think what you what you said is correct. My opponent, I don't think, is very good. The wheel kick? You think so? Okay, so you're right. The the rebel obviously reveals our our whole plan there, and they go, oh shit, I've got to do something now. But I, they're playing red and green, and they had all their mana up and three cards in their hand. Like they hadn't used any removal that game. If I go for spinning wheel kick and they kill the, the creature I target, uh, and they had such a big creature, even a fight spell would have killed. I could I could have targeted my nineteen nineteen, whatever that guy was, and they would have still been able to fight and kill it in response. Right? Okay, this sucks. We have a seven drop in our hand again. Every game, this guy's in my opening hand, but we have some early plays. This guy ramps. Let's Temple of Milady. <laughs> Ooh, this guy's good. I'm gonna keep the Provisioner. He makes treasure every time I play a land. Go Shintai. Every turn he could pay one, it gets bigger and bigger. Okay, let's play... I could play Kappa Tech Wrecker, but no, let's just get this guy into play. Because this guy, I can actually um, remove the counter to kill his enchantment here if it gets too big. Overhead Helm, okay. <clears throat> Bumping it up. Okay, so let's play this first. Play a land. Make a treasure. And pass. I think I'm just going to play this as a 1-3 death touch instead of trying to ninjutsu it in. Uh, then I can untap and maybe spinning wheel kick using this death toucher to uh, kill their board. I have 5 mana currently. I'm going to go up to 6 plus the treasure is 7. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I need to do this for six. No blocks. They can discard their hand to draw three cards. I don't care. They're not going to do that, of course. Pump their Goshen Tai. Ooh, Hunt's pretty good. Let's make a land, make a treasure. Uh, okay, so this turn, let's just go Tech Wrecker. Hunt for specimens. Get the sciences. This will get us our land next turn. Uh, we have one mana up. Let's just pass. So next turn I'm going to spinning wheel kick and uh, take out their board here. Kill both their creatures. Hopefully. Let's see. I need them to tap uh, a lot of their mana so I don't have to you know, worry about a trick here. There we go. Yep, yeah, that's fine. You can discard some and make some 1-1s. One don't really care. Hmm... Discarding two creatures. Okay. Okay, it gets bigger. Doesn't matter how big they are, because this doesn't... It's not fight. 
this deals damage, right? So if my death toucher can just machine gun all these guys down. Ah. Okay, well, there's another fight spell. So you know what? I'm not going to wheel kick this turn. It's just sciences. I guess we'll get the blue. Play sciences. Or play the blue. Make another treasure. So... Here... Wow, I can slam old Gnawbone. Uh... I think I want to fight. I want to use this and fight one of their guys. Instant speed. I could use all my treasure, though, and just slam. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get Gnawbone into play. Because even though I'm using up all these treasure that I that I started accumulating there, as soon as Gnawbone hits them, he makes seven treasure, like, out of nowhere, right? So they either have to kill Gnawbone right now, or, yeah, let me hit them, maybe? <clears throat> Old Gnawbone. Hey, Styles, have you played, uh... Oh, you're playing Elden Ring. Nice. Stream's been good. Yeah, it's uh, been busy. Last uh, week, you know, because I, instead of playing a bunch of different games, I just started focusing only on magic. So uh, it's, you know, been much better for the channel. But busy weekend. Nice. Yeah, what did you get up to? Also, uh, have you been playing Celasta? The, uh, the new expansion or the DLC or whatever? I'm debating buying that game, even though I had it for free on Game Pass. Nettlesist. Nice. Plus one for each artifact and enchantment. Rabbit battery coming out. Okay, looks like we're going to get a clean hit in here with old Gnawbone. Nice. Uh, and then we can spinning wheel kick for a ton. Oh, this is going to be very sweet. Okay, so let's swing with Gnawbone. Hey, was, the opponent has no reach creatures. We smash for seven. Make seven treasure. Boom. So now we have five, 13, 14 mana. So I can spinning wheel kick for a lot. So if X is 4, 4, 8, 10. That's 10 mana. And I can kill 4 creatures. So I'll kill Goshintai, Nettlesist, Pyromancer Helm, probably. Yeah, I think now's the time. 5 is 12 mana. 5, and I have 13 mana here. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to go 5 here. So my Death Toucher can fight 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Use all of that. Bam! Spinning Wheel Kick. What a wheel kick it was. Let's play this guy and pass. They scoop. Woo, the wheel kick wrecked them. Nice. Okay. Not bad. I mean, we've got one mana play into two mana play. And, you know, I can cycle this guy away. Play this. I'm going to keep this. We're on the draw. God damn it. You know what? The one mana play doesn't matter. I'm going to actually... Yeah. Uh... Yeah. I want to find some land here. These land all coming into play untapped. Okay, there we go. Uh, taxidermist. Next turn I can slam Grim Dancer here. Ooh, okay. Even Eternal, nice. Okay. Let's give this guy... Uh, Menace, Death Touch, or Lifelink? It's close. Let's go Menace, Death Touch. Okay. Can start pumping out treasure with the Paladin. Solemn's a good one. Nice. <coughs> Opponent can hit me for two. Okay. Ooh, that was a good draw. Okay, Tireless Provisioner. And then let's play this tapped, make a treasure. Now, I could I could swing with Grim Dancer, but I think that's almost certainly incorrect. Let's do this, make a blood. Four, five, six. 
Yeah. If I play this untapped and make a treasure, I can actually slam Void back in her next turn. Blue-white. Ah, okay. Whirler Rogue. Ah, Charming Prince. Okay. Blinks is Rogue, sure. Getting a bunch of dudes here. Mm hmm. Aha. Old Gnawbone. Four, five, six. And we can make. Let's make blue off this. And make a treasure, of course. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's scry one here. Ah, uh, this guy sucks. I'm gonna use my treasure to slam old Gnawbone. Okay. No attacks. Oh, Faith's Fetters. Well, we could get rid of that. We still have outs to that. Legion's Landing. Okay. So they fetter old Gnawbone. So we need to either free him with uh, the ninja that we had. I don't know if the ninja's... Uh, we're probably never getting through, though. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Need a sacrifice outlet here. Uh... Three, six, seven. Yeah. Guess. Well. Hmm. We cast the 8 8, but let's get in with this guy first. Yeah. Let him die. I'm going to bring him back with Blood Fountain here. Okay. Yeah, if we drew the Dockside Chef, we could sack Gnawbone and then bring him back with Blood Fountain, but I think we're going to have uh, no time for that because we're taking six in the air here. So we're on a two-turn clock. We're almost certainly going to lose this game. Mm, spinning Wheel Kick. Eh, it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Gotta make a food this time. Mm. And then Grim Dancer can be a 3 3 Menace Lifelink. Uh, swing with the 8 8. Because Old Gnawbone, his ability still works here, right? Sure. Why would he double block here? He's got to have some pump spell or something. Or that. Okay, cool. So I think I lose. Yep. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a million thopters, so let's go to the next game. Alright, some blue white blink deck. Uh, I guess I could bring in the Vandal. Yeah, let's get in Mask Vandal. What should I take out? Hmm. Take out Blood Fountain. Our opponent's not really killing our things, it's just leaving, uh, leaving them in play with enchantments on them. But weather's getting kind of better. Nice. Soccer games. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool, cool. The, this opponent does, yeah, know what they're doing, yeah. Unlike the last one. Okay, I am going to keep this. Got our early revel here, but revel's better when you have a bunch of removal. Like, I, I, I don't know what wraths are in this for black. Like, I, don't, I haven't seen languish. I haven't seen 
you know, Meat Hook Massacre or anything. I, I presume those cards are in this cube. Meat Hook at least should be in the cube, but... I haven't seen it yet. Okay, let's hunt. We'll get our environmental sciences. <clears throat> okay. Mm, let's just do this. Get another black. Maybe I should have uh, actually played the taxidermist there. I was, I'm an idiot, because I had my third land drop, right? Yeah, I shouldn't have hunted last turn. I should have played Taxidermist, then double spelled this turn. So that was a mistake. Uh, Solemn. I'll take that hot action. No attacks. Danitha Capuchin has uh, First Strike and Life Link, so. Yeah, I can't double block here. Okay. Priest of Ancient Lore. Got it. Okay, so... Ooh, that's not bad. Could slam Revel here. I think I'd rather Blossom Prancer, though, right? For five... Yeah. Let him start using his removal. Okay, we got a shitty Horde Robber. That's pretty bad. Um, this is exile a creature from a graveyard? From my graveyard, yeah. Plate armor? Are you serious? Okay. Yeah, sure. This does something with equipping, right? Oh, they cost less to cast. Okay. One mana plate armor. Broken. Yeah, I need to get this revel down. It does reveal our, you know, what, what the plan is again, but... You want it in place so that when their creatures die, it can start uh, doing things, right? Making treasure. Okay. Overgrown tomb. Um. Hmm. I should have blocked with Solemn, actually. Let him die, and then I could Vandal. Untap. Yeah, so let's go... 21. We have 6 mana. 5, 6, 7. I want to go 2, 4, 6 here. I'm not going to Vandal this turn. 2, 4. Or I could get that Revel in play. I'm going to pay 2 life. I'm going to get this Revel into play here. And Taxidermist. Okay, now we have a ton of mana next turn. I'm going to let Solemn die when he attacks, draw my card, then I'm going to use the Solemn in the Graveyard, Exile to Masked Vandal, get rid of his Plate Armor, and then I still have enough to Spinning Wheel Kick, I think, both of his guys? We'll see. Block. Yeah, he can gain all the life he wants, because we're going to kill him with Revel and Riches. Oh, Rutschstein, okay. There's another Solemn, sure. Hmm. Ooh, Provisioner's good, too. Uh, okay, so let's do this. I can exile that. And then we can wheel kick. Actually, four, six, yeah, we can wheel kick two things. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Get some treasure. And no attacks. Not even gonna attack here. I don't care about the life totals. I just want to uh, kill kill him with Revel. Okay. Ooh, what does this do? Put him on the bottom of his library, take an extra turn, only if you have City's Blessing, which they have. Okay. Old Rutschstein. Worst card I could have possibly looted. That's fucking brutal. Let's play this. And... Hmm. So if I swing with Blossom Prancer, he puts, uh... Yeah, two tokens and Solemn in front of it. Okay.
Okay. I, I actually don't care if he blocks, though, right? Because the more creatures that block, the more treasure I get. You gonna let Elspeth die? They have two cards in the yard. This is the one that comes back from the graveyard, but four other cards they need. They don't want to triple block here because then I'm gonna get a bunch of treasure. I shouldn't have played my creatures before combat. That was dumb. I wasn't sure if I was gonna attack. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to take as few casualties on their side as possible here. Okay, tick up to three. Elspeth makes humans. Could take another turn here. Yeah, cool. Opponent time walks. Sure. Okay. Ooh, okay, loses Elspeth. Elspeth can't come back currently, though if Solemn goes to the graveyard, Elspeth can come back. Uh, no blocks. <clears throat> sure. Take four. Archivist does what again? ETB, draw a card, discard, disturb. When it attacks, draw, discard. Okay. I have Vecna. God damn it. Would have liked that. Uh, let's use our blood. I'm going to discard the goose here, I think. I don't need the goose. Well, I don't need another land either, but... Um... Hmm. What should I do here? They're just going to take it, right? Whatever I attack them with. So let's just pass. I need Rutschstein to start hitting... Uh, uh, what did he... He made an... Did he make an insect? What happens if he mills an artifact? If a land is milled, make a treasure. Creatures milled, make an insect. Non-creature, non-land, make a... Oh, that was the blood. Right, 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 right. Okay. They can bounce one of my things. Bounce one of their things? I don't know. Yep. Replay Solemn. I'm fine with that. Not doing much over there. They can't really attack me because they're going to lose a bunch of creatures and I'm going to get a bunch of treasure and they're just going to die. I need to start making treasure somehow here. Rutschstein. There's a treasure. There's Typhon. There's another treasure. Up to six treasure now. Ooh. It's getting up there. No attacks. As soon as I get to uh, 10 treasure. Opponent's drawing a bunch of cards here looking for... I'm sure they have maybe an enchantment, like O-ring type effect for this Revel in Riches. I'm, like, they must, right? Banishing Light or whatever. Olgutstein. Oh, treasure map! God damn it. Treasure map would have been so good. Okay, well, let's attack... Uh, just the Typhon, I think. He's just gonna take it, right? Yeah, he's at 36. I don't know. There's no way for me to entice him into blocking here. What? Really? Oh, so that he can get a flyer back? Okay, so he can loot again? Sure. Mm-hmm. No damage. Let's play Grim Dancer. I'm gonna go Menace Life Link, I think. Okay. Well then, this is gonna be interesting. I can't believe we milled treasure map. That was that would have been the game. Like we would have just, you know, activate, activate, and in two turns we would have flipped it and made three treasure. Ugh, we're slowly getting up there, though. Like, we're at six? 
If Rutschstein makes one and I play a land, that's two. Uh, what else do I have that just makes treasure? I'm not even sure. Okay, shrink my team. I think that's fine. My opponent's not really putting a ton of damage in our face here. Sure. I think I'll just jump with an insect here. Take three. Rutstein. Oh, dark side chef. Okay, there's our land. I mean, I want to use blood to discard this, but it does make a treasure. Uh Yeah. Mm, no attacks. Yeah, Dockside would have been great. I could have started, like, sack Blossom Prancer, start sacking these insects that Rutschstein is making. But, um, two bad mills off Rutschstein in a row there, sadly. And then we draw lands. Kind of rough. Okay. They can recast Elspeth or whatever, I don't really care. Pump their Angel, probably. It's getting very close, seven treasure. My opponent's gotta be very worried here that I'm gonna be able to suddenly make treasure. Sure, do nothing. So they need to play other stuff for this to do things. Make tokens, I guess. Mm-hmm. Ah, that makes tokens. Okay. You got it. Land treasure. Ooh, that is a little too late. Damn. Uh, how can I do this? some life. That is not gonna do it. Damn. So close. Well, if I gain food... Oh, and there's old Gnawbone. Uh, I guess I'll keep that. Oh, it's gonna get milled by Rutschstein, right? Son of a bitch. Yeah, I should have put that on the bottom. Uh, pass. Well, we go up to 15. My opponent's doing 11, 13. Oh, they can do exactly 15 with Elspeth's minus. Yeah, I don't have any reach creatures. Yep, yeah, that's ex... Oh, he put it on the wrong creature. Nice. Yeah, that vision does not have haste. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're not dead. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay. Eight treasure. God damn it. We're not gonna... Yeah, he says, oops. We're not gonna be able to do this. We just had, yeah, some bad mills there. Oh, that treasure map. That would have won us the game if we didn't mill it. This was dumb. I don't know why I left this on top. Should never, definitely not have left that on top, but oh well. Ancient Animus is not enough. Could kill something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next game. Oh, that's it. GG's. Oh well. That's our draft. Bad deck is bad. I will see you next time.